Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. In this video, I'll be highlighting a research that reveals a certain group of banks has XRP valued at $205 million. However, that is not to say that all banks on earth retain that information. That just indicates that these banks are part of a smaller group that owns $205 million worth of XRP. You don't hear headlines like that very often, do you? This makes you wonder what the future holds, doesn't it? It sounds quite insane. You are probably aware of these risk-averse financial institutions that own XRP and other digital assets. The headline from Crypto Basic states that 19 banks have reported exposure to XRP in total investment positions of 9.4 billion euros, which is approximately $10.2 billion. So XRP is just a little fraction of it but I'm simply stating that things are heading in the correct way. Last, but not least, this Crypto Basic Pro headline and XRP attorney rejoices over a meteoric rise in XRP holdings. Yes, I understand. Attorney Hogan is here for us. Looking forward to the return of the delightful XRP, but I'll tell you what, I believe Attorney Hogan will be far more satisfied with the returns when we reach face melt season. Oh, and let's not forget this headline, Crypto Basic US $33 trillion debt pile makes bullish cash for XRP Forbes. Sorry, I missed it. Thus, they are essentially discussing the possibility of a dollar collapse leading to a significant increase in the value of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and XRP. To set the record straight before we continue, I do not come from a financial family. No matter what I say, you shouldn't buy or sell anything. I'm not a financial advisor. For fun and as a pastime, I create videos on YouTube discussing cryptocurrency and related subjects. I'm just an enthusiast. Got that. Now let's get into the topic of banks and XRP. Numerous international banks have recently announced their intentions to engage in cryptocurrency, with XRP occupying a significant position among them. One such group is the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision, or BCBS. A leading international bank regulator has released a paper detailing the 45-member central bank stances on XRP and other cryptocurrencies. So, I read the report on my own, however, I did not read it cover to cover, rather, I skimmed over the important parts before reading the rest. The official website of the Bank for International Settlements is where this is posted, though. Peace remains, however. Among the many analytical and supervisory measures launched by BCBS's committee in reaction to cryptocurrencies in the past five years was the introduction of a new crypto data gathering template. According to BCBS's study, a total of 19 banks contributed information about crypto assets. Ten of those banks were located in North America, seven in Europe, and the rest were located in other countries. The investigation revealed that the banks acknowledged a total of $9.27 billion, or 9.4 billion euros, in exposure to crypto assets. At the same time, the report brought attention to the fact that the distribution of crypto exposures among reporting banks is not uniform, more precisely, two banks are responsible for more than half of the total. Additionally, the remaining exposure is represented by just under 40% by additional institutions. To be honest, I'm not too shocked by that. It doesn't matter how you slice it, whales will be there. You know, the US dollar is a whale in comparison to other currencies. A result is that certain financial institutions will have more capital than others. Am I correct? To be honest, I'm not surprised by that. This is a different asset, then. In this context, that's a value related to cryptocurrency, specifically, Bitcoin and XRP. Yeah. Is very reasonable. I'm just stating that every element continues, it's not exclusive to XRP or crypto, as per the conclusions reached by the Basel Committee. The reporting banks revealed their commitments to XRP, the third largest altcoin. It was found that out of a total exposure of 9.4 billion euros, XRP made up 2%. This proportion amounts to a total of 188 million euros, or $205 million, in XRP positions. 
It has taken more than 10 years to reach this stage, guys. However, we have arrived, and this is only the start. From now on, this will be the standard. The percentage of people who have ever owned cryptocurrency is quite low, just around 4%. There will come a time when XRP is the norm, even though fewer than 1% of the population has ever owned it. Of course, the majority of users utilize X, XRP, or crypto, for a variety of purposes. Consequently, this figure will appear ridiculous when crypto is widely utilized. As a result, seeing this is great. It will, however, be far, far larger than that. Additionally, XRP and other cryptocurrencies will be widely customized by institutions around the globe. Since adoption hasn't really caught up yet, it's amazing to be here at the beginning. The opportunity would have been lost if it had already occurred. You can see the general direction it's heading in, albeit it hasn't quite arrived yet. That's the interesting part, folks, it's just another thing to look at, but the signs are there. The thing is, we can see it. I don't know if every XRP holder would consider themselves a part of the community, but I do know that there are millions of holders, so it's incredible. However, it seems like quite a bit. Although there are millions of people involved, when compared to the entire human population of 8 billion, it's practically nothing. It's as if we are a tiny, exclusive club of XRP holders, the vast majority of people are either unaware of or uninformed about this cryptocurrency. This is quite significant, so I applaud you for being here and paying attention. Up next, ProXRP attorney rejoices on skyrocketing XRP holdings. I figured I'd single out this one because it's a light-hearted little post he made. I will skip reading the article and jump to the post they were referring to because I found this really amusing. Even if Twitter is now known as X0, Dear CT, I see his argument. He typed Dear CT, which is crypto Twitter. Somehow, my 60% increase in XRP value over the past two or three years has gone to waste. At the age of 25, I could have achieved a yearly rate of 20%. I would have retired long ago, Boomer. The chair of Jeremy Cooper. You placed little smiley faces over the important parts of the screen capture that shows how much Bitcoin and XRP he has, and I'm sure we shared it. This is what you see when you look at your screen. However, it's up 60%, as he points out. Plus, I kind of often find it amusing when I consider it in that light. It's as if, for example, my XRP's value is only dependent on the price, the other day, it was nearly 75 cents. My first thought was, wow, I'm only up 200%. When that happened. Since then, it has dropped slightly again. On average, I spend 25 cents when I shop. This amounts to a threefold increase, or a 200% increase, right now. Still, I couldn't help but feel dissatisfied as I sat there. I don't understand, though. The genuine solution is obvious in the crypto realm I'm familiar with, you know? Reason being, we should anticipate irrational gains in the crypto industry. Additionally, I understand that crypto is horrible if it's limited to 60 people. However, those are outrageous returns regardless of the situation. Therefore, even if you're only up 60% if you're glad about that, then you should be happy about that. It's reasonable, though. However, there is some good news, he is going to be one of the persons we expect to stay here for a longer period of time. Plus, at these prices, I have no idea what kind of human beings will be selling. Personally, I think he'll be over the moon when face melt season rolls along, if he's one of the lucky few who decide to stick around. No, I'm being completely forthright here. From a purely historical perspective, it is good, so I am pleased that my XRP is up by that amount. Yes, the SEC has my ire. I'm not so enraged that it drives me crazy every time I think about it, but I've mainly moved on. On one hand, I understand the gravity of the situation, on the other, I would prefer that the SEC not exercise such dominion over my feelings. Yet, that is simply the way it is. It's amusing that we can actually gaze at stuff like this when we're gazing over. And then there's the US dollar, 
what a calamity that has happened, and this train accident, right? The global reserve is literally on fire, it's debasing and printing itself into irrelevance at an alarming rate. Not all at once either. But until something changes, obviously, the writing is on the wall. We've seen this play out before, in previous eras, with other nations, many of which no longer exist, when fiat currency is debased in this way. Its status as a fiat currency will eventually expire, this won't go unpunished indefinitely. That can't be done. That being the case, it's inevitable that this will occur in your lifetime whether or not it does in mine. As far as I can tell, there is zero sign that we will cease creating dollars until they are obsolete, is there? I absolutely do not. So, eventually, the US dollar will be irrelevant, and it's logical to assume that a cryptocurrency, or cryptocurrencies, may replace it as the world's reserve currency. From a theoretical standpoint, the proposed outcome is that XRP and Bitcoin, in particular, and even the entire crypto asset class, will experience a meteoric rise in value if the dollar were to collapse. Indeed, however, I am uncertain. The extent to which the entire planet will be on fire, hopefully only metaphorically, but certainly not at that stage, is something that keeps running through my head. It doesn't flow into crypto, or does it spill into something else entirely? When I look at it, I just wonder who's going to be putting what where. That is the point, though. Somewhere, values have to go, don't they? At this point in time, XRP and Bitcoin are simply seen as risky assets, as they have been from the beginning of crypto, so you would think that when the dust settles from some wacky runaway inflation scenario, people would finally say yes. Right now, I have no idea if that will always be the case. The fact that we are merely discussing theory and making predictions about the future is what makes this topic engaging and entertaining to discuss. What follows is the peace text. Digital assets like XRP are now positioned to make a positive influence, according to Billy Bamborough, a senior contributor at Forbes. He previously claimed that the US monetary system is about to implode. The alarming $33.7 trillion inflation warning from the US Federal Reserve has heightened worries over the imminent collapse of the US dollar, as mentioned in the Forbes article. The article claims that the pessimistic forecast provides strong support for popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and XRP. The essay continues to discuss the US debt, death spiral, so I won't bother reading it in its entirety. Obviously, my intention is not for it to occur. It will happen at some unspecified time in the future since the people in control are complete dimwits. My hope is that that's far, far away. I pray I never lay eyes on it. I won't assert that I have all the answers. In my opinion, we aren't any. This doesn't appear to be something that will happen very soon. However, it appears to be certain to happen eventually. So, you know, if something like that were to happen, the US dollar would be completely useless from a purely rational standpoint. So, you would think that in such a situation, people would see the true worth of cryptocurrencies, which cannot serve as a foundation because they are based on computer code and cannot be demonetized by governments or central authorities, as a means to bridge the gap in global reserves. Am I correct? That's where the real money is, isn't it? Plus, XRP has been around for a while, and it's helpful, so. Lots of that stuff is going to be valuable, isn't it? Isn't that going to come in? More people would probably start using that if you told them. Why, then, would that not occur, according to rational thought? Please do inform me if you have a compelling theory regarding. But that's a really convincing justification for being involved with crypto, and it makes perfect sense to me. However, I also do not subscribe to the belief that the end of the world is imminent, I find it hard to believe that some people hold this view on a daily basis. Still, even after giving it some serious thought, I feel like it's inevitable. Since you're referring to a man, it's clear that the people have lost interest in the government or currency in question when that happens. What recently transpired in Argentina is also visible, isn't it? The Argentine peso was even worse than the dollar, so which one will replace it? It's hilarious, because I'll replace one garbage currency with another. 
The point I'm trying to make is that blockchain technology is obviously robust, so why wouldn't you acknowledge it? The answer seems to be predetermined. It appears to be very clear to me. Still, I would appreciate your feedback, that's not my job description. Do not let anything I say influence your purchasing or selling decisions. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.